Is Jesus the Son of God? Many ask the question. Where in your Bible does it say that, that Jesus said he was the Son of God? Well, I'm reading from an English Bible. I have an English translation of the original Hebrew. The way well, the Matiyaku wrote of Yeshua HaMashiach. Uh, before the nations to understand the message, it had to be translated to Greek. And, and later on, different languages came up in 2,000 years ago there was no English language let alone King James but today we have in a language we can understand this question to understand who is this one that is called the Son of God King of Glory Savior of the world and what did he have to say of himself? And we can read in Matthew chapter 16. He asked a question saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Well, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So we have a testimony of those who watch on a close scrutiny. Now, now some, ever since the fourth century, they, they try to say that this was a three and a half year ministry, but it was actually just a little more than a year. 70 week ministry was prophesied of the Messiah in the book of Daniel. And it was a 70-week ministry that was cut off after six, see, two weeks, for he was crucified. But, but why was he crucified? What was the charge? He was one who, they, the biggest charge against him that was that he was healing people on the Sabbath day. Oh, he was doing good to a fault. They were going to crucify him for healing people. No. It, they wanted to stone him. But it was what was the charge? Well, they got him to the place of judgment. And the rulers of Israel, the Pharisees and the scribes, they were concerned about their political positions. Herod had removed the Cohen from the priesthood and put his political appointees in place. So it was Herod's temple. Herod built a temple and he put his own appointees and everybody brought the tithes and offerings to that place where Herod was in control. But now come one that giving sight to the blind. One was born of a virgin, though they would dispute that. But he was born in the little town of Bethlehem. They could not dispute that. Because the records are in the temple. And they couldn't dispute the fact that one born blind received the sight. They couldn't dispute that he was raised in the dead. They couldn't dispute that lepers were coming to the priest with an offering that Moses 
they was commanded of them when they would see the healing. Can you imagine? Fourteen hundred years. And nobody had come to the priest with an offering because they, they were a leper. And they're made cleansed until this one, the Messiah, this one, Yeshua, HaMashiach, said, go and show yourself to the priest and pay that which Moses commanded. Here we have a record that this one we call Jesus who was born by the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He was born of the house of David in a little town called Bethlehem, the house of bread. The bread of life, it said, came and walked among us, Emmanuel. But then he, he was brought before the judgment. And we can read in Matthew chapter 26. After they had stoned him, after they tortured him, after they mocked him, now the high priest asked the ultimate question. He come out and said, I put you on the oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ the Son of God. Well, he didn't say it in English. I, I had to put some English because nobody here could understand if I said it in Greek. And I don't speak it that well anyway. But we get the message. Here the high priest brought the accusation for which they are willing to have him crucified, put to death. Would he confess that he is the Son of God? Now, if he is to prove, it would be hard to prove, it would be hard to deny that he's saying, are you crazy? Come on now. Uh, would he say that God didn't have to say No, he didn't say it. Would he say, no, I'm not. No, he didn't say that either. But under penalty of death, he did not withhold his confession. He said, it is as you said. Nevertheless, I say to you, hereafter, you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. But now he's prophesying. He's talking about a day, a great day of judgment when the day is going to be raised. Every eye will see the coming of the King of Glory. Even those who pierced him are going to be whole with their own eyes the coming uh, of the king, not as a lamb to slaughter, but as Jehovah to have an oath of hallelujah, the king of glory. But now I come with an eyewitness. And when I was down and broken on the ground, I was healed in the name of Jesus. I, I was a little boy fell out of the tree. No, when I was a grown man and, and my back was broke again, I, I felt the hand of the king of glory. There was nobody else around. The chiropractor saw me, but he couldn't do nothing for me. I had to go home and crawl up those stairs. And when I got down on my face on the bed, I asked for mercy. I, I, I asked for the loving kindness of our Father and the King of glory, the Son of God, our Savior. He came down and put his hand on, on my back, rolled down every vertebrae in the place, and told me to preach his kingdom. So I come as an eyewitness of this one Hold the Son of God. 
this one we call Savior of the world. I am an eyewitness. He lives. He saves. He hasn't changed. And anybody that say that God don't speak to his people is a liar. Would he who created the heavens and the earth change his game plan? He said he would do nothing without speaking to his prophets. Has he ceased to do things? I tell you today, the blood of receiving sight in the name of Jesus. Hey, we, we don't speak Hebrew here. We don't speak Greek. You would say Yeshua HaMashiach. You're speaking and calling out his name. But he knows the heart if you call him Jesus. He, he, if you call him by his name in, in Chinese, which I don't speak, hallelujah. If you call with your heart, with your soul, with all your mind, with all your spirit and soul, for the mercy of your Father, you will come to know the Savior of the world. For his ears are open to a cry, and his compassion is for those who are broken hearted and the contract spirit. It says, Good pleasure to deliver those who seek him, find him. Now we have it in the book, and it can, the book cannot be denied. You can't change the writing. It hasn't been changed. Anybody say that God doesn't have a son, doesn't know the meaning of the word Elohim. When the Almighty spoke and said, let us make man in our image, male and female, were we made. So therefore there is a son and there is a daughter. There is a masculine and feminine portion of the Elohim. I come speaking of revelation that I received. I'm an eyewitness for I've seen heaven, I've seen hell, and I've seen the Elohim. I come declaring a mystery you can find in the good book. You can read it in a the fifth chapter of Yeshayahu and Isaiah, when the bride speaks concerning the vineyard of the groom. You can read it in the Song of Solomon, where she said the bride spoke and said, I am black but comely. Don't look at me the color of my skin. My brothers were angry with me. Made me a keeper of the vineyard, but my own vineyard I have not kept. A prophecy all through the book of a wedding that's described in the 45th Psalm. There's going to be a wedding when the King of Glory comes. And there's going to be peace on earth for a thousand years. Well, we can rejoice in this at a time when the crazy men talking about blowing up the world. Hallelujah. There is a King of the universe. And He who made all things from nothing, He who created all things with a word, has the final say in all things, and he has already spoken and written in his book the end of these things. The end of the reign of man is coming with the coming of the King of Glory, and he's all his way. We can see all these things coming to pass. Now, while the people say they try to mix it all together, but they can't mix because everybody's going in separate directions. There is one that's coming the way, the truth, and the life. You can know him now <laughs> as a savior. Or you can know him as a judge. But every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Jehovah. Blessed be his holy name. Amen.